The nation's most advanced fleet of weather satellites is about to get a major update later today. The fourth and final installation of NOAA's GOES R series going to launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The new satellite, currently named GOES U, it'll become GOES 19 once it gets in orbit. It's going to join the fleet that helps keep us safe here on the ground and in space. And we have a very special guest joining us now. He is the director of the National Weather Service, Ken Grant. Good morning to you, sir. So let's talk about this satellite. Uh, this is the latest in the uh, you know current generation of satellites you're going to launch. What are the advancements that are going to be put into play with this device once it gets out there 22 plus thousand miles? Yeah, this is the fourth in the series of the Gozar satellites and just incredible sensors. I mean, just sensors to to, to late, look at a storm is with one, one minute data, you know, to get updates every 30 minutes on a regular basis, just incredible sensors uh, to be able to see the storms. But not only that, you know, just being able to map the lightning to be able to see, uh, you know, if a storm is getting more severe or a storm is, is really starting to weaken, those are incredible uh, types of sensors. But this is the final launch. I mean, starting in 1975 with the GOES program and the GOES are uh, starting in 2016. This is the final in the GOES series. And there's a new sensor Answer. And I know this is near and dear to your heart. We were talking about that mm -hmm. uh, before going on. The new sensor, the compact coronagraph, to be able to look at the sun um, constantly, to get 30-minute data uh, to look at sun spots and, and mass coronal ejections. I mean, just to get 30-minute data versus eight-hour data before, that's a game changer when it comes to space weather. That's a huge difference. And Ken, I know you used to be the director at the uh, Hurricane Center. Uh, this new satellite is going to also be very useful in making forecasting and monitoring of tropical weather better, isn't it? It, it really is. I mean, if you think about the, you know, when it becomes goes east, to being able to see across the, the United States, across the Atlantic to the African coast. And I remember at the Hurricane Center just really trying to look at those monsoon storms in Africa and what they were going to do mm -hmm. uh, coming off the coast. And th that helped us really get some early forecasting, an early uh, look at the, the intensity and the track associated with those storms. And, and not only that, the other part that was amazing is eyewall replacement is a big deal when it comes to hurricane forecasting and the strength of, of expansion of the storm and the, right. the strength of the storm and, the, and also the trajectory. So as a result, that, that one minute data, that frequent update, you could really start looking at these eyewall replacements and it, and it helps us with our uh, decision support to those decision makers. Very quickly here, 15 seconds. How can folks watch today's launch? Yeah, go to, you can follow it on NOAA Satellites, at NOAA Satellites and NOAA.gov, uh, slant goes you, and uh, search for it. It's going to be all over the place. Every meteorologist is going to be looking. Everybody should watch this. It's an <laughs> exciting historic day for meteorology. All right, Ken Graham, we appreciate your time this morning. And uh, say hi to your family in broiling Phoenix, Arizona out there. We were talking about how hot it's been there. All right, Ken, good stuff there.